Hi, I'm the Grow Boss, and in this video, I'm going to explain to you the top five things that I explain to my customers about using nutrients during flower, and I'm going to explain it to you, just like I explain it to them. Number five, there seems to be about five elements that most nutrient manufacturers include in their flower recipe, and it's PK, phosphorus and potassium, for bigger flowers and bigger roots. It's CalMag because you're going to use cal about halfway through flower until your buds are full size and starting to ripen. Then you're going to switch to a mag sulfur product because the sulfur will really help bring out the crystals. It converts starch into sugar. And then you're going to end up with the sugar which according to the bottle is for the microbes that live on the roots. And finally it's the magnesium and magnesium is the central molecule in the chlorophyll ion which is responsible for converting light into sugar. Number four, let's look at how GH breaks those five elements apart and to do that let's use their flora bloom, their liquid cool bloom and their flora nectar. So let's take a closer look at what's inside. This is a 054 but if we also consider the mag and sulfur in it this is a 054 1.50. Now, this is liquid cool bloom. It's PK only. There's no mag sulfur and there's no sugar. So if we were to add PK to the flora bloom, we would end up with like a 0, 15, 14, 1.5, 1.0. Now, this is flora nectar. There's no PK in it, but there is mag sulfur and sugar. So if we added these two together, we would end up with a 0, 5, 4, but it would be 2, 1.5, which means if this is if this is mag sulfur and it's PK and this is mag sulfur and this is PK then if we added these two together we would basically be creating floor blue mag sulfur with PK sure there's a little bit of sugar in it and they say the sugar is to support microbial life in the soil but you can see how they balance out number three if your recipe calls for more PK for bud building then you would add liquid cool bloom to the flora bloom and that way you wouldn't add any mag sulfur or sugar which would trigger ripening but then later if your recipe calls for more mag sulfur then you would use the flora nectar because when you're coming off the calcium the cal mag you're going to want to switch to the mag sulfur because that really crystallizes the trichomes so if your recipe calls for more mag sulfur you would combine these two products because you wouldn't want the pk number two when it comes to powdered PK boosters like these, you only need to know two things. Does it come with just PK or does it also have mag sulfur in there? Because early on, when your buds are building, you're just going to want PK. But later when they're ripening, you're going to want it PK with sulfur. Okay, what's the number one thing you should always be adding during flower? Well, it's great white nutrients. Because if the bottle of flora nectar says the sugar's for the microbes, and you're not adding microbes, then you might as well just add more floor bloom because there's no sugar in it. And trust me when I tell you, you're always going to want to add sugar because you're always going to want to add great white microbes. Because not only do the microbes help the plant absorb nutrients, they also live on, protect, and encourage new root growth. And then when they die, well, microbes are the very definition of an organic nutrient. That's why you're always going to want to add one scoop per five gallons every two weeks. Okay, I'm the Grow Boss. Thanks for watching the top five things that I have to teach new growers about using nutrients during flower. And if you want more information, you can buy my book from your local hydro store or eBay, Amazon, or my website, thegrowboss.com. And don't forget, if you like the video, click the like button and subscribe to the channel.